I get asked all the time, what do you mean, Dave, when you refer to your marketing efforts as either hunting or fishing? And I'm going to explain that in this short video. So when I refer to my marketing efforts, I'm typically referring to efforts of me marketing to a motivated seller to let them know of the services that I provide, which are simple. Buy as is, close quickly, use cash, and they don't have to make any repairs or do any cleaning, right? It's very simple. Um, so again, when I'm referring to my marketing, I refer to it either as hunting or as fishing. And the difference between these two is actually what you are budgeting, right? So let me explain this in a little bit more detail. When we are doing our marketing for motivated sellers, we're either spending time or we're spending money to market to these motivated sellers. And sometimes we spend both, right? So when we refer to hunting in the real estate investing space or the wholesaling space, we are referring to uh, going out and finding leads that we are trading time for, right? We are essentially doing cold calling, cold texting, maybe door knocking. And that's what I refer to as hunting because when you are hunting, it's basically one target, right? Now, you may be able to add the use of a dialer or something along those lines that will help you hunt. But at the end of the day, when you are hunting, you are typically doing something outbound. You're trading time uh, to do that type of marketing, and it's limited. It's limited by the amount of time that you have. Now, when I refer to fishing, I'm referring to spending money on marketing, right? So imagine yourself um, at a lake, and you brought a truckload of fishing poles. You didn't show up with just one. You brought a truckload, and you cast that first one in the water, and you stick it in the dirt, and it has a bobber, and you keep your eye on it. And you just keep casting poles, and before you know it, you have hundreds of fishing poles lining the outside of your lake. And before you know it, your bobbers are moving up and down all over the place. You are not limited by your time when you are fishing. Now, on the other hand, when you are hunting, it's very difficult to go out and you know, catch two rabbits. You ever heard that saying, catch two rabbits? It's impossible. It's almost impossible to catch one rabbit. But if you have two that you're constantly chasing in different directions, you're not going to be able to focus, right? So with hunting, you're typically looking for one or two um, individuals at a current time, and you are trying to reach these people and let them know that you are there to help them by buying their house and providing them a high level of convenience. When you are fishing, you are uh, getting your message out in front of these individuals so they call you. It's another way to look at it. Is it outbound marketing that requires time or is it marketing that you can essentially buy and it is automated and it gets out in front of these people? What does that marketing look like? Well, radio advertisements, um, uh, direct mail, maybe bandit signs. There's lots of different types of both of these. But again, you have to figure out in the beginning are you willing to trade time to do your marketing? Are you willing to uh, put some capital into you know, an account um, to fund the marketing? Or are you wanting to do a little bit of each? And we do both, right? We do a lot of hunting and we do a lot of fishing when it comes to our marketing efforts. But we are doing both and we're doing both consistently. So if you have heard me talk about hunting, and or fishing on a podcast or in my book um, or in another video. This is just a quick little video to describe what I mean by hunting versus fishing, right? We do both, but they're two totally different types of marketing. One is based upon a budget that you allocate time to, and the other is a monetary budget. It's a budget that you use to fund an account to then go buy marketing. I'm lazy. I like to buy my marketing. Really, what does that mean? I like my phone to ring with motivated sellers versus having to spend all day trying to get in touch with those people by calling out. Now, again, we do both of these. But you know, the, the, the longer that you're in the real estate game and the more deals you do, I encourage you to put money into your marketing budget because the marketing budget is what matters. It's how you get your phone to ring, and it is how you can work less and do more 
deals. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. This is a quick video that I made just to talk about hunting versus fishing, and that is how I describe it. Thanks for watching.